Hello and welcome to this video where I'll be drawing three different portraits in Procreate. Each one of these portraits took me about one and a half an hour to complete and they're all loosely inspired by elements. So the first portrait is inspired by fire and fire is usually in the yellow, orange, reddish spectrum so I decided on a red background and I also feel like fire is very aggressive and kind of mischievous in a way. So I decided to try to make my character have these character traits. I wanted these three portraits to kind of match a little bit, so I decided to have this kind of a running theme through them. And I decided on that being very strong colors and also face paint to represent them. So of course I had to add some flames uh, on the eye makeup and this very aggressive yellow color for the hair. I also wanted all the girls in these portraits to kind of look a very certain way. I wanted them to look different and have different haircuts and maybe a bit different facial features than what I usually do. So her nose, for example, is a lot different than I normally would make them. And then her hair is very spiky and very untraditional. Here I also experimented a little bit with color, as you could see a little bit before, with some reddish tints to the hair, which I decided to take away which I kind of regret now because I kind of like them. And then here I'm adding in the eyes and keeping it on the orangey, yellow, red spectrum because these are the only colors that I let myself use here. And here I'm just experimenting with different stuff such as line art and then I gave her a little flame in the hair, darkened up the eyes and then she is done. Here is the final result of the fire girl. So the next portrait was inspired by plants and animals. So not really an element here, um, or maybe it is more like earth, I guess. So I decided on a blue background because uh, I wanted it to be a lot more calm than the more aggressive fire portraits. I actually made these drawings about one or two years ago, so I don't really remember all that much about the thought process behind the portraits or the ideas. But I do remember being inspired by plastic dolls and plastic flowers and hair clips when drawing this portrait specifically. Here I'm just experimenting with the face paint and seeing how much I should add in there. I wanted to add some flowers and stuff that looked kind of like vines, uh, but I felt like it was a little bit too much and a little bit too aggressive, so I toned it down a little bit, uh, added some yellow to see if I liked that or not. In the end, I wasn't really that happy with the design, but I decided to just go for it. And then she got some blonde hair, again inspired by like old school, plastic dolls and then the plastic hair clips with some flowers on them. Then for the earrings I experimented with different stuff but in the end I decided on a little duck and then I tried to make legs. That didn't work out. The duck didn't get any legs. Then to bring back in that blue color that we have in the background I decided to give her blue eyes and then I added little flower shines in the eyes kind of inspired by my littlest patch up. Here I'm shading the hair real quick and then shading the plastic hair clips to look a lot more plasticky. So here is the final result of the portrait loosely inspired by nature and animals. For the last portrait in this video, uh, this one is actually the first one that I made and I actually thought of the theme later. So I started with the idea, I started sketching it out, started drawing it and then later I decided what element it should loosely be inspired by. So I started with just making the face like I usually do, with just marking it out and then putting in the line art afterwards. I remember making this drawing while waiting for a friend at a cafe and struggling a little bit with how she was supposed to look. So I tried a lot of different stuff for the nose and I decided that I wanted her nose to not look as flat as my noses usually do. So I wanted to add the nose bridge, which is not just straight, but it has a little bit of a curve to it because I wanted her nose to be a little bit different from my usual noses. For her hair, I also wanted her hair to look different like I did in the other portraits. And I decided on a little bit of a longer hair that kind of resembles a mullet in a way. So it's a little bit shorter in the front and then longer in the back. And then I shaded that real quick 
and as you can see i'm not using symmetry tool for the hair shading because i wanted to look a little bit more organic and i also added some loose strands of hair and so the uh, symmetry tool wouldn't work as well so that's also a thing that i did different with this portrait here i had sort of decided on the theme for the drawing which was supposed to be electricity or something in that direction if i remember correctly uh, so i went with this neon greenish yellow uh, it's mostly green but i wanted to be a little bit different and yeah i added the eye makeup first and some clips in the hair and then i decided on a yellow background and then i thought yellow eyes would look good but i changed it to green and i added some stars then i decided that i didn't like the yellow background and decided on a green one instead so here's my green electricity drawing again this is really loosely inspired by elements so that was it for today's video if you want to try the symmetry tool in procreate yourself i have a video on that on screen right now thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you again next week goodbye